Have you ever wondered how fish are able to breathe underwater? It's a fascinating process that allows them to extract oxygen from the water around them. In this video, we will take a closer look at how fish breathe underwater. The key to a fish's ability to breathe underwater lies in their gills. Gills are the equivalent of our lungs and are responsible for extracting oxygen from the water. A fish's gills are made up of tiny, finger-like projections called filaments. These filaments are covered in small, hair-like structures called cilia. The cilia create a current of water over the filaments, allowing the fish to extract oxygen from the water. As a fish swims, water is forced over its gills. The water passes through the fish's mouth and over the gills, where the oxygen is extracted. The oxygen is then absorbed into the fish's bloodstream and transported to the rest of the body. Let's take a closer look at how this process works. As water passes over the gills, oxygen diffuses from the water and into the fish's bloodstream. At the same time, carbon dioxide is released from the fish's bloodstream and into the water. This exchange of gases allows the fish to extract the oxygen it needs to survive. It's important to note that not all fish breathe in the same way. Some fish, like sharks, use a different method of breathing called ram ventilation. This means that they have to keep swimming in order to force water over their gills and extract oxygen. Sharks have gills that are similar to other fish, but they use different methods to extract oxygen. Because they can't pump water over their gills like other fish, they must keep swimming to force water over them and extract oxygen. It's important to note that the efficiency of oxygen extraction varies depending on factors such as water temperature, salinity, and oxygen levels. Fish have evolved to adapt to their particular environments. So there you have it, a closer look at how fish are able to breathe underwater. It's a complex process that allows fish to extract the oxygen they need to survive in their watery world. Thanks for watching.